Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to the Dark Eye, Chains of Satanov. And here's a big eye right here, I don't know if that is the Dark Eye, but it just kind of occurred to me in the, the end of the last episode that this is a Dark Eye, and I don't know who the Chains are of Satanov, but I guess we'll find out maybe. Anyway, so in the last episode, we caught into this cave... And there's this eye that if it sees us, we get petrified immediately. So we're trying to find a way to basically either destroy the eye or distract it so we can walk into the cave, which is right under under the eye. You can't really see it. Well, you can kind of see it. There's a little piece of the cave entrance right there. But anyway, um, yeah, so we just picked up this lamp oil, oil lamp right here. And there's lamp oil. And I was going to try and maybe burn it. Because why not? A burning pool. What use is that to me? I don't know. I'm just trying stuff out. Okay, so we can go kind of around this area. I'm not sure what use that is. Let's head back this way, even though you'll probably see me, I'm assuming. Oh, what's that? Interesting how the light... Uh, stops right there. The creature is attracted to this one right here, this mirror. There's no way. Yeah. Fix, help me. There's no way we're going to be able to um, walk past this area or walk in this area. So I wonder... Oh, there's holes right here, too. Like petrified cheese. Yes, we... And he's going to say something about the worms if we actually look at it. The worms that dug these holes must be quite big. Yes, we did know that. Um... I wonder if the mushroom can act as a wick. And by wick, I mean that we tried to put the oil lamp with the lamp oil... But he said that there was no wick, and I wonder if the mushroom is dry enough. That doesn't help. No. no, that doesn't help at all. Let's break the oil lamp. <laughs> uh, okay. I can repeat that till I drop now. Yes, he can. Um, man, I don't know what to do anymore. I am kind of not sure. At least we can turn it. Can we put the mirror in the holes? If it oh, noticed... We gotta... Turn it so it's distracted. There we go. Okay, so we can do that. So let's turn the peacock then. Back that way. And see if maybe we can put the mirror in these holes these holes right here sorry I forget that there's a little bit of a leg when it I go to at a new screen. At least we don't have to fear that monster anymore um, put the mirror here because if we remember when it was shining it was going like right up into this area like right into here somewhere so hopefully it'll shoot here, bounce off there and hit the creature that's the presumption anyway All right. Oh, interesting. It goes right into the cave entrance. Why would it do that? Huh. I must be missing something somewhere because fix. Well, obviously I'm missing something somewhere because I can't seem to get past this part. I wonder if there's something back up here that I'm missing. Like that plant, for instance. Oh. 
Can I like take some of the piece of the boat or something? No. I wonder if I can use the, put the plant in the oil lamp. I'd rather not. There's something I'm missing up here. Oh, look at that. Perforated boot. Wow. I don't even want to know what happened to the owner. Man, these things like just uh, blend into the environment. Let's see, is there anything else? Let's just hit the space bar because I just, I don't know. But as it is, I did see everything I need to see. So the perf uh, the ghost light and the boat, I think they're used up as far as uh, what I can do with them. This, this strange plant, there's still something I, more I can do with it. But what that is, I have no idea. Maybe I can put the dragonfly on it. No time to expect. Nope. I'd rather not. Huh. <laughs> I'd rather not get too close to that lake. Okay. Just the way the hand is, that means that I could pick it up at some point. But I don't know if I need it now or if I need it later. Hmm. It mustn't see us. If it notices me, I'll fix help. All right, we. Maybe I can just break the eye. Of course not. Fix, help me. Whoa. Okay, I maybe mean, I guess I can break the eye. Oh, that makes sense because the lens. Yeah, okay. Alright. I guess that makes sense anyway. Okay, so now I'm starting to see maybe what I need to do. Okay, so. I bet. What happens if I put some mirror here again? I can't remember. Oh, the mirror's uh, back that way. That's right. Get his attention over that way. Grab my mirror back. Once I can. Or can't I? Oh, I can't. It's... Oh. Nope, I can't. Okay, so I can't do anything more with that then. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, no, I'm thinking, I, I think I see what I need to do, I just have to figure out how to get this plant, because in the last episode, the plant spit, and he said that it stung, so I'm guessing we have to put the plant, you know, somewhere in here, probably these holes, I'm guessing, or maybe the lamp oil pool, and to spit that stinging stuff into this uh, broken hole now. But I don't know how to get that plant. Hmm. can't just take it because if I do it'll go through that if I simply rip out the plant it'll die then Nuri will chew me out again 
I'd rather. Maybe I do have to break this. It's broken. Yes, I know. I need to focus on. No. Hmm. <laughs> I am not sure what to do anymore. Huh. Just trying to think of... Oh, duh. <laughs> I have a spade. I can just dig it out. There we go. gotta think like a gardener you don't just tear plants out you dig them up all right so let's put this plant I'm assuming probably let's just try right here maybe I don't know sure huh no no okay That doesn't help very much. Well, let's see. Maybe it's uh, different. Obviously, it's not in this area, so let's... There we go. I wonder if I have to put it in the... Oh, yes, okay. I probably have to put it into the the worm. Because when we looked at it... It's all hollow. Like a smokestack made of like stone. Like a smokestack. So, with the plant, it's going to shoot right at the creature. It's like pointed right at it. So let's do that. The head of the plant is directed precisely towards the eye through the moor. Okay. Now... Let's light it on fire. I must have completely lost my mind. There we go. And the creature is dead. I'm sure Neri will not like that at all, but gotta do what you gotta do. Let's turn the peacock back so that the light is shooting into the cave. I'm assuming that's where it needs to be. Please be careful. You too. Okay. Let's head out. Okay, yep. We did need that beam of light in here. Now, we've got this puzzle to solve. Which I'm assuming it has to do with putting this beam of light into these basins here. Fairies love riddles. What did I expect? Fairies love... I was never good at these kinds of puzzles. I don't know what kind of puzzle it is even. All right. Strange mechanism. So I'm assuming that this gear will turn this. That's the assumption anyway. Is there anything else? Oh, contraption. There's something missing at the head here. Ah, I already know what it is. A prism. Ah. Interesting. There's two symbols here. There's a, I don't know, it looks like a bricks or something, and then it looks like a crescent moon. There are two symbols next to every basin. These symbols are connected to the basins. Great. What happens if we turn it? All right, and there's a bug. There are two symbols. And uh, an eagle sim symbol. And fire and water, I'm assuming. Or fire and wind, maybe. And then what was this one? This was the moon and the stones. 
So I don't know, does that mean I have to put something into the basins? Okay, yep. <laughs> Use the gear, not walk away. Okay, so there's fire and water. So let's see what happens if we do this. Fire and water, but water doesn't burn. I wonder if I can take that oil lamp or lamp oil with my water bladder, because then it will burn. There we go. So that first piece is relatively easy to figure out. I got that one. So let's put the uh, water bladder with lamp oil into there. There we go. Now we can light that up. All right, that's one piece of the puzzle solved. I'm not sure what that means, but it looks like he'll tell me if I click on the basin. All right. What could belong in there? A waxing moon. Three bricks? Huh. I'm assuming everything I have in my inventory is what I need to solve the puzzle. So, bricks could be the perfor uh, perforated, <laughs> petrified bat, maybe. I don't know what it means by waxing moon, but maybe, maybe the mushroom? Oh. oh, okay. Let's do this other one. That's no help at all. Because obviously that's a bug, which is probably the dragonfly, which maybe I have to put the mushroom in there first. So that the dragonfly will stay there. Oh, I see. That's why there's those stairs there. There we go. Oh. Oh, I see. Flying and a bug. So dragonfly. Okay. Just this last one. Waxing bricks or moon. Three bricks, a waxing moon. Three bricks and a waxing moon. It wasn't the bat. Maybe it's a boot. No, <laughs> no, it's not the boot. Um. All I have left is the perforated boot, the mushroom. And the bat. Doesn't work. I can repeat. So that. Okay. Not sure why that worked. Oil lamp. Okay, so now what? Does that mean I did it right? Ouch! Hot! I just have to hit the gear again. Or do we need Neary now to open the gate for us? I don't know. Please be careful. You too. Nope. Okay, so maybe I'm just wrong in all that. I mean, oh, wait, wait, what happened to my, what? 
What happened to my fighter? Okay, there's a little noise when I do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had to manipulate the prism. And the fairy gate? Uncle Nuri, we've made it. The fairy gate is opened. Nuri! Uh oh. Long time no see, Garon. You're too late. The fairy gate is open. Nuri will return home and you'll never see her again. Such great wisdom. So much anticipation. I think I have to admit defeat. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Who are you for real? This might be a little bit longer episode, so I don't know how long this conversation will be, but anyway. Who are you for real? Who are you for real? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I should have known. I'm impressed with how far you've gotten. It never ceases to amaze me how dreams become real. How the threads of fate interweave and a new veil is sewn into time. I stand on a shore and a shadow approaches. The shadow becomes a mast. The mast becomes a ship. And then I can see it. The barge of time. And chained to the helm, overlooking everything, is sat enough. The thirteen-horned giant. This harp. Yuri, what is all that for? What do you want? I don't want to die. But you, Night Hare, you will bring doom to us all. Enough of that. You can't know everything. That is correct. But do you know what you're doing? Are you prepared to damn your love for all eternity? To send her back home where there is nothing for her but loneliness and grief? Why? Huh. Uh, I'm going to go with her. Nuri has to go back to her world. It's the only way. And I will go with her to protect her. How noble of you. Did she ever tell you about her world? About the madness of the Queen? The fear and stagnation? The slow death of a once flowering realm? Do you really want to do that to her? I'm fed up with your tricks once and for all. Nuri, come quick. Fanglari's waiting. Why don't you listen to me? Why don't you listen to him? You have thrown my warnings to the wind. Nuri, the raven is the seer. I'm fed up with your lies. You want to see the darkness I've descended from? Nuri, I... Then have a look. Oh. Shoot. Nuri, you know, I can't blame her. I can't blame her for doing that, but still. The end. We have averted it. Come, little fairy. Don't be irate anymore. Where are we going now? I'll take you to the harp. You'll finally be able to use magic again there. Are you really the bird man? Yes, I am. Huh. I'm a little confused right now. You! It's you! You spell doom!
Huh, interesting. Damn, this cursed raven. This is exactly what wasn't supposed to happen. I always bring bad luck for everyone. Oh my, what is all this? What now? <laughs> Nuri! I have to go back. I have to get out of here. There's no way out. The gate is closed. Who is this? And the other gate is out of bounds. Oh, there's no other way. Everything but everything is prohibited. Okay. Who are you? Who or what are you by fex? I'm a bringer of doom. Oh, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I've caused harm to so many people, staring here and noggling there. But what else was I supposed to do as the Keeper of the Gate? You are the Keeper of the Fairy Gate? You almost killed us with your gaze. But I didn't want to do that. It's just that I'm so terribly nosy. I want so to see because everything looks so nice with all the light and the colours. This can't be true. Okay, so he was the big eye on that gate. Okay. Interesting, and I can kind of see it right there. There, He's just closing it right now. What other gate? You mentioned another gate? A different gate, yes. But the way there is forbidden. Where is this gate? Tell me. It is... Uh, it is... In the dream chambers. But nobody except the Queen may enter them. She forbade it. Why has the Queen forbidden access to the other gate? No, no. I'm not saying anything more. Keep the eyes shut and it all stays dark. Okay, <laughs> this episode has gone on far too long, but very interesting, very uh, interesting uh, cutscene there with the seer burning at the stake. And I know we've seen a couple of those already, but with each time we see a little bit more. I don't know about Neri though. I don't know if this the raven or you know if the raven is actually the seer himself. I don't know if he's kind of manipulated her and is just kind of controlling her now. Or if she's kind of been a part of it this whole time. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Uh, yeah, so now here we are in Neri's world, or her fairy realm. I can kind of see why she didn't want to go back there. It is a little bleak in here. But uh, yeah, we will explore this world in the next episode. So I will see you next time on The Dark Eye, Chains of Satanav. Until then.